Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to show you some of the items that I've collected for a very special new baby who's going to be joining my collection. Um, so this baby just has a corner of my bedroom situated here between my desk and my bookshelves, um, just kind of the corner over by my closet. And I was able to make enough room then to put a dresser here for this baby. Some of her items are then also hanging in my closet. And I have purchased this bouncer for her as well. Um, so this bouncer has this sweet little mobile that has dragonflies hanging here. And um, this is also the blanket that I've purchased for this little one. This baby looks beautiful in purple. And purple is definitely her color. So I've just purchased um, this really beautiful purple bouncer as well as this special little peanut shell blanket that has um, some trim. You can kind of see the mobile moving there. Um, I'm not gonna show you everything that's in her dresser, but let's just show you like a few things. So just here on top, I have a couple of baskets. These items that are sitting here along the front aren't gonna stay here. I've just pulled them out for the video. Um, but this baby here has like her formula, uh, her little hairbrush. These are the bottles that I've chosen. Um, I was going to make this Pampers bottle, the bottle for her. Then I found this gorgeous little nook that has like a crane on it. And I thought it was really appropriate for this baby because she comes from Florida. Um, and I found this twist shake bottle on clearance. Back there in the corner is just like all of my laundry detergent in a basket. Um, so like I said, these items won't stay here. You know, they'll move to the kitchen. Her rice cereal is actually already in the kitchen. Um, and then in these two little baskets, I just have in this one back here, like, um, socks folded and then like booty styled shoes. And then, um, this is mainly hair accessories, but I've thrown kind of some pacifiers on top. So the pacifiers that I have for her are... These little um, Avent ones that have the butterfly, I bought these because they match some of her outfits, as well as um, these Avent ones that just have the little birdies on, and then some mams as well. So, like I said, this baby's from Florida, and I found um, this little pack of mams here that have like a mermaid and a seahorse these ones here hold on let me see if i can get that to focus these ones here and then um i also found this little glow in the dark unicorn one which is just so cute as well so and then, like I said, this is mostly just, like, hair accessories and things like that. In her dresser, um, in the top we have mostly, um, so over here, short sleeve onesies, long sleeve onesies, um, and then these are, like, all of her pants. These are PJs, three-month styled PJs, mostly jamboree slider bouncer back a little bit and then this drawer has like all of her rompers i love this baby and rompers so these are like the casual like cottony styled ones and these are like more fancy ones all of her diapers and wipes are here baby powder hand sanitizer i loved the um print of these like i said her color is mostly like purple and i've done a lot of like periwinkle colored blue too and I thought the pattern on these just matched perfectly with all of her clothing. And then down in the bottom, um, so this is all, all of her tutus are over here. It's like full all the way back. And then a couple sweaters. So I made this one for her. I'm still needing to um, weave in the ends. It's like a really beautiful white chenille sweater. It's really, really soft. And the buttons for that are actually up here on top of the formula. And then I have this purple sweater. And then this is just like more PJs down here. Um, like extra PJs. And then this is her swimsuit. 
Uh, so that's pretty much what she has going on there. Then up here, um, they don't live here. They hang inside of my closet, but just for the purpose of um, showing you, I pulled out some of her hanging items. So we have back here just her little snowsuit, little basic peach one. And then we have this. This is like a Ellen DeGeneres, Ed by Ellen DeGeneres, um, like herringbone footed sleeper. Really, really sweet. Um, I found the Burt's Bees dress that I was looking for. I found two in the preemie. And then I also managed to find one in the three months, which is what size this baby is. And it comes with like eggplant colored footed pants. This little smocked dress is her Easter dress. This has come from Gap. And her little Easter bonnet, which is Jimbery, is there as well. And then I have these little um, butterfly, like white butterfly sandals, probably, that we're going to wear with our Easter outfit. I also have these little jellies that are over here hiding. Um, the diaper bag for this baby is just a backpack. It's my Finding Dory backpack. Uh, this baby's former mom really loved Disney, so I thought it was appropriate to repurpose my backpack for her. Then I'll pull a couple of these down so I can just show you. I have her Christmas outfits back here, too. So, um, a more casual, uh, like, cotton tutu dress thing, which says ho, ho, ho on it. And then this is her actual, like, formal Christmas dress. And we'll get some little black Mary Janes to go with that at a later time. So, um, yeah, so that's sort of those items. And then back to her dresser. Uh, she has all of these items here. The bouncer. And then the last thing is, I just purchased this, actually. Um, I looked for this thing forever. This is the um, Skip Hop Unicorn Playmat. It might be kind of hard to see because of like the glare on the packaging, but I haven't opened it yet. Um, and so this is for her. Like I said, she has a three-month size baby. So I wanted something for her where she could actually play. I found this at Burlington for a third of the price as it usually sells for. And this is just what it looks like. It's this really cute padded unicorn mat that has like a rainbow across the top and has some different various little toys. <coughs> so yeah, you guys, that's everything um, that I have for her. I'm expecting her to be here probably on Monday. Um, the expected delivery date was actually yesterday. It was Friday. But for whatever reason, um, she didn't make it here. She is coming from a different country, so she had to clear customs and all of that. Uh, so now I'm expecting that she will probably come on Monday. And like I said, you know, her little area over here right by my desk is all ready for her. So I just wanted to show you a little snippet of the um, quote-unquote nursery, which is just my bedroom. But I um, wanted to show you some of the things that I have for her. So hope you've enjoyed this quick little look, um, and I look forward to sharing her soon. Thanks so much for watching.